Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We're diving into the Strains universe today in order to take a look at possibly my favourite character from the whole series, Quinlan aka Quintus Sertorius aka The Born. Quinlan is a human Strigoi hybrid and serves the three American agents in a bid to finally destroy the Master once and for all. He's over 2000 years old and his kind of hybrid belongs to a rare group known as the Dampir. His story begins sometime around 40 AD during the reign of the Roman Emperor Caligula. The master, then only a few centuries old, served as his chief advisor under the name Thrax. In exchange for his counsel, the emperor supplied Thrax with young women to feed on. The master insisted on these women being virgins for him, but in one crop, a newly pregnant mother was mistakenly included. The master sensed this as soon as he stung her, but she took advantage of his surprise to fight him off and escape. The master demanded that she be hunted down and killed, but the palace guard was thrown into an uproar by Caligula's latest false alarm of assassins in his bedroom. The master searched for the woman but was unable to locate her before she bore her child one of the born. The physical appearance of the child was slightly different than that of a full Strigoi. As the master's son, the child also shared a telepathic link with his father. The telepathic ability made him aware of the master's whereabouts and actions, but unlike the rest of the master's strain, he was not subject to his control. For the first few decades of his life, Quinlan was revealed to be held captive and was exhibited as a human leech in a Roman freak show. His freedom was purchased by a woman, Ancaria, who was specialised in Strigoi lore. She rehabilitated, renamed and educated Quinlan. Two years later, the master tracked them down, forcing Quinlan and Ancaria to abandon their current residence, setting off on foot to another location. They stopped to rest in a cave, at which time the master appeared, trapping them inside and forcing Quinlan to drain his adopted foster mother for survival, attempting to cause Quinlan to question his affinity for humanity in regards to his true nature. As a hybrid, Quinlan's body is free of bloodworms and so, he is incapable of infecting other humans. He shares most other traits of the Strigoi, including the need to drink blood to survive, but retains independent thought and human emotions such as love. His stinger is also much shorter than common Strigoi. Quinlan also retains a human nose, unlike other Strigoi, all of whom lost theirs as they matured. In comparison to Strigoi, sunlight does not burn Quinlan, but his skin and eyes are still sensitive to it. To operate in sunlight, he covers his skin with hooded clothing and has previously covered himself in some sand. As his eyes are also vulnerable, he requires goggles to see properly in daylight. He is not immune to the effects of silver, however, and his skin will burn like any Strigoi upon contact with it. Quinlan dons hooded attire to also conceal his less than human features, such as his pointed ears. His physiology further mirrors the Strigoi as he is shown to bleed the same, meaning he has white blood. Carrying the given name signifying his status as the fifth born, he became recruited as a gladiator and later served in the Roman legions as Quintus Sertorius. Evidently over his long history traversing Europe, his name became Galicised former Roman territory that becomes France, into its modern usage, Quinlan meaning fit and strong. When they became aware of his existence, the ancients tried to recruit him, but he wanted no part of their feud with the master and instead settled for a life as a farmer. Quinlan allowed himself to feel emotion for the first time when he opened up to his human wife and adopted daughter. He finally decided to give up his hunt for the master and enjoy life with his new family. However, this attitude changed after the master murdered Quinlan's human wife and adopted daughter. Subsequently, Quinlan spent his entire life in search of the master, seeking to destroy him. Quinlan has hunted the master for at least two millennia and possesses knowledge about him that is only seconds to the other ancients and surpasses the lore Satrakian gathered which he acknowledges when he encounters Cetrakian and Fett when they approach the master's underground lair. He addresses Cetrakian as professor, showing deference to him. Although Quinlan harbours a desire to kill the master once and for all, he does not show any hatred towards the other ancients, which leaves the room to interpretation to the mutuality of their friendship. Quinlan is willing to kill Cetrakian if necessary in his quest to hunt the master for them, which shows hints 
that the millennia of experience has let him grow callous to some degree, even when he has not been shown butchering humans so far. His calm and peaceful attitude does not render him hesitant when facing a human that openly threatens him, as proven when one of the felons Gus, freed on his account unwittingly raised his guns and decided that he will kill him since he is just one of them, referring to the Strigoi. Quinlan insists on the distinction as he harbours some dislike for the vampire kind and the Seventh or the Master in particular. It is unclear why his hatred does not extend to the other ancients and why he keeps some company with them. Quinlan is the last of the born, which means there was four before him. There is no record on what happened to them, but my guess is that they may have encountered the master who, given by his reaction to Quinlan's mother being pregnant after being stung, most likely destroyed them himself. Because he is directly linked to the master, Quinlan is basically on a suicide mission and as once he destroys his maker then that will surely be the end for him too, or so he assumes as he believes his only true purpose on earth is to defeat and kill the master. Quinlan is my favourite character because of the diversity he brings to the fold. Satrakian believes that he's the only one trying to kill and defeat the master, so when Quinlan arrives on the scene and he changes the whole dynamic of it being a group of people who ended up together by coincidence to the realisation that the master has indeed ruined more than one person's life. Even though the master avoids Quinlan, he reappears just when Quinlan lets up, as was the case with his wife and daughter, which ultimately causes him to shut down his emotions for good. There is a reason as to why Quinlan calls his mission his life's purpose. He will no longer allow himself to exist as anything other than the Master's Slayer. He really made the series even more enjoyable for me and I think he got the ending he wanted. The only other being that has similar traits to Quinlan is Vaughn, a devoutly loyal Strigoi who has been allowed to retain his own free thought by the ancient that created him. That's how it appears anyway. Vaughn could also be another born but I think it would have been emphasised quite early on and he also wouldn't have died from the UV light system that was installed in the Stoneheart penthouse. Then again he retained his nose but lacked the agility that Quinlan had. I'll let you guys decide in the comment section below what do you think Vaughn was, a Strigoi or one of the Born? Anyway guys, that is my take on Quinlan aka the Born from the Strain series. If there's any other Strain characters you'd like me to cover then feel free to add that in too. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you for the support and I will see you all in the very next video.